So, more fish talk to each other using sound than scientists thought. No, not like that one. But yes, we do have the audio to prove it. So those voices in your head might actually be your fish. That and a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. New research from a team at Cornell University reveals fish are actually more likely to talk to each other using sound waves than scientists thought. According to their findings, certain fish have been communicating with each other in this manner for at least 155 million years. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't hear you. If you've ever accidentally tapped on a fish tank, you know those critters do react. Scientists identified 175 fish families containing two-thirds of fish species that either do or are, at the very least, likely to communicate via sound. This opens the doors to all kinds of arguing and resentment now for fish, too, so... Okay, I know what your next question is. Here's the audio. Let's listen. Uh, this first one here is the oyster toadfish. Uh, this guy looks a little spent in this picture. And now the long spine squirrel fish. Are we sure that's not a guy with his hand in his armpit? <laughs> And this is the banded drum. I don't have a picture of these next two, so I'll just put up some vacation photos. And this final one is the midshipman. Again, I don't have a pic of this guy either. Yes, that really is the sound. I know it sounds like a foghorn. Kind of brings up another whole question about how do they name fish? Anyway. Study co-author Andrew Bass said, quote, They've probably been overlooked because fishes are not easily heard or seen, and the science of underwater acoustic communication has primarily focused on whales and dolphins, the big mouths of the sea, as they say. But fish have voices, too. I'd give real money to hear what this guy is saying right now. Find more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.